my father started the plant. It was started in April of 1924. I was at that time about five years old, four years old. Just as a personal touch, my grandfather lifted me up and I blew the whistle the first operating day that the plant had. They were probably the best paying furniture company in the area. And I don't care what your job was, everybody there had, they showed respect to you for what you were, were capable of doing. was a great place to work. I would love to have stayed there another several years until I retired. There's not a lot of companies out here that treated people the way Hooker did and they were they were real respectable. They were fair, you know. They were fair people, you know. They, they were a good company, good company to work for. I'll miss it. I mean, you know, hey, I'll miss it. I will. A lot of people that work for in a furniture factory, you know, if you look at the hand, you can tell where they work at. You can read about it, and I can tell you about it, but until you get in there and experience it, you know, it's, it's, it's no comparison. Place to go every day and work with friends and get paid for it. When you go pay me to do something I like to do, that's easy for me. That's one of the best places I've worked, Hooker Furniture Company. Mr. Clucker, you were part of his family, I think. He had a heart as big as his factors were. After you had been there with the company for a year, they started giving you stock in the company. That just brought about a, a feeling of pride that, you know, I wasn't just working for a company, I was working for myself. I was part ownership in this thing. It seemed like anybody that went to work there stayed. You know, I mean, there wasn't no reason to leave. Really, there's no satisfaction in doing a sorry job. You know, if you look at somebody and you paint a 
portrait or you polishing a piece of furniture, there's no satisfaction in doing it poorly. The satisfaction comes from doing it well. I think we had a good esprit de corps, so that makes it doubly sad because, you know, if, if they hadn't liked the place and we hadn't we, we hadn't cared about them, you know, it would have just been a wouldn't have been a big deal. But it's, it got so personal. Now, you got to take another step. You got to take another turn in your life. Now, you, you got to let Hooker go because it's gone. It's water under the bridge. Now it's time for you to make that other step and start looking in that direction. It, it just looks like a, kind of like a old ghost town in the western, you know. Just a dead building. But it's not the first and won't be the last. It's been a very unusual trip, but it still goes back to people. You know stronger than the people. And over all those years we had we tried to hire the best people we could get. And I think our employees have, they've stuck with us. They've really done a job for us over the years. And if you don't have the people, you can't do anything.